the stock minigun versus the Tomislav, one of the biggest debates in all of TF2. Now, two years ago, I tried my hand at this dispute, but the video I put out just had too many flaws. For instance, in my video, I didn't really cover all the stock's advantages, I didn't use very many examples, and me and my partner never really did shoot at the exact same time, even if we tried. But nevertheless, now after two years, I think I'm finally ready to give you guys the proper comparison you all deserve. And no, don't worry, this won't just be like me beating a dead horse. Oh no. This will be more like me taking a fresh out of the oven horse, sitting it into a house full of TNT, and blowing the absolute shit out of it. What the f <laughs> So, whether you're a stock purist, a Tomislav main, or simply just in between, in this video I hope to finally put away one of the biggest debates in all of TF2. Which is truly better, the Tomislav or the stock minigun? Let's find out. Alright, so instead of just starting this off by just repeating both weapons wiki stats, I thought this time it'd be better to break down this analysis into five major sections. So the breakdown will cover this. DPS, or damage per second, accuracy, stealth, survivability, and efficiency. And as we go along with each section, we'll keep a list of positives for both weapons. In the end, you can look at this list and make your own decision of which weapon you think trumps the other. So, first to start off our list, let's look at... DPS. Okay, so for a long time the stock minigun has been said to have the higher DPS between these two weapons, which is technically true. See, although both weapons might deal the same damage per bullet, the stock minigun has the faster attack interval, allowing the stock to deal more damage per second as long as its bullets are connecting. Hypothetically, this means that the stock could always kill quicker from full rev, right? Well, we'll come back to this later, but for now, we can at least safely say that the stock does have close range advantage while fully revved, since literally all the bullets would have to hit then. Alright, so now on to... Accuracy. So in previous videos, I've already compared the bullet spread of the stock minigun versus the Tomislav, but just in case you've missed it, the main gist of it is this. The farther away you go from your target, the bigger the spread difference becomes. This is because in order to keep up a 20% higher accuracy rate, the Tomislav actually relies on a tighter spread of bullets, which in a lot of cases does work great, but having a wider spread also has its positives. See, while the Tomislav's tighter bullet spread does help with higher levels of accuracy, that also makes it require better tracking from its user, which can be a little challenging at times. Meanwhile, the stock grants a lot of forgiveness in this area. Because of its wider spread, this means that even if your accuracy isn't quite sentry level, it's very likely that as long as you're still aiming somewhere within the ballpark of the enemy, you're gonna hit them. This also gives a slight advantage to the stock in terms of close range crowd control, because another fortunate benefit of missing some of your bullets with a wide spread is that some of the off-trail bullets might still hit targets nearby. So, in terms of accuracy, we've kind of got a list of pros to give to both sides, really. Because of its wider spread, the stock gets better close-range crowd control, as well as more forgiveness when it comes to accuracy. And on the other hand, the Tomislav will receive higher accuracy overall, simply because of its tighter spread. Stealth. Now while stealth isn't always a word you may think of when it comes to the heavy, believe it or not, just because you're the tankiest class in the game doesn't mean you should always want everyone knowing where you are. Sometimes it really does pay off to not let your enemy know you're everywhere about, and this is one area where I certainly think the Tomislav starts to shine. You see, defensively, while a good stock heavy may hold down a certain position while revved, the Tomislav allows you more freedom to move around while still keeping the benefit of surprise, because your rev with the Tomislav won't allow the enemy to know whether you've moved positions or not. Offensively, the Tomislav holds its benefit as well. While running up to a point, it's common for a heavy to have to constantly check his back for spies or start and stop his rev in anticipation for the oncoming enemies. And while certainly neither of these practices are a bad thing, with a stock minigun you'll be giving up your positioning far before the enemy sees you. With the Tomislav's silent rev speed, however, it's much less likely the enemy will hear you coming. There's a small, short clicking sound at the beginning, but after that it's back to complete silence. And so for the stealth category, 
We'll give two positives to the Tomislav here. One being camp ability, or camp ability. Camp ability, is that a word? Wh whatever. And the second pro here being a quieter rev for everything else. Survivability. For this category, I couldn't really think of too many survival advantages the stock would give you over the Tomislav that didn't have to do with two points we've already covered. It's wider spread, and it's closer DPS advantage. However, for the Tomislav, I could actually think of several distinct points that stuck out. Number one might catch you by surprise, but it's actually the Tomislav's slower firing speed. See, because of the Tomislav's slower firing, it actually takes you quite a bit longer to ever drain through your ammo, so you're less likely to have to worry about it as you're moving along. A second advantage the Tommy gives you is a quicker rev speed. This means that whether you're running up to enemy lines, or the enemy lines are running to you, if you're caught off guard, this grants you a little extra forgiveness by giving you a quicker chance to defend yourself. Also, because of this quicker rev speed, the Tomislav is actually the only minigun that allows you to bunny hop continually while revving, which is great for checking your back for spies. And speaking of spies, the last survival advantage of the Tomislav goes back to its silent rev, which makes it easier for you to hear your surroundings, most favorably, spies decloaking. For example, here's a spy going for a fully rev stock heavy. And here's a spy going for a fully rev Tommy heavy. Hear the difference? Tommy, stock. Tommy, stock. Tommy, Today, I want to talk about one of my favorite spy loadouts, the classic, all right? This is the regular spy loadout. Now, however, I am using some reskins, like I'm using the Aussie knife and the big kill, but whatever, all right? Usually, everything about it is okay. And I want to show you guys just how reliable this thing is, all right? It's unbelievable how reliable it's set up. Look at this fucking maroon over here. This dumbass doesn't even know I'm going to come, and I'm going to show you what's going to get. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Jeez, what the fuck? Oh my god. So for yet another category, the Tomislav takes it all, granting better ammo conservation, a quicker rev speed, bunny hop ability, and allowing you to hear spies much easier. So it seems like the Tomislav may be taking the lead here after all. But now for the final and most crucial section. Efficiency. So two years ago I tried to prove to you guys which minigun would kill faster using a heavy versus heavy example. But the problem with this example, however, was that it was just very unlikely me and my partner would ever actually shoot at the exact same time. Because of that, this time I made sure to take away any chance of human error. And how, you might ask? Well, you see this? It's a bot. And not only is it just a bot, but it's a bot programmed to copy my every move. Don't believe me? Check this out. This took me quite a bit of research to figure out, but for those of you wanting to test this out yourselves, I'll post the best link I could find in the description below. Now if I'm being completely honest, the bot is technically one frame behind, but one frame isn't even enough for another shot to land, so it really doesn't matter. Anyways, this will be the ultimate test between the Tomislav and the stock mini, and it'll basically come down to this. Which is more effective between the two guns? The stock mini gun's faster DPS, or the Tomislav's quicker rev and better accuracy? For this portion, we'll be shooting the guns from three different ranges, short range, mid-range, and long range. And for each range, there will be two tests, starting from unrevved and starting from full rev. Close range will be done standing right in front of each other, mid-range will be done about three full steps from each other, and long range will be standing literally wall to wall from one another. So without further ado, here's close range. Here's mid-range. And lastly, here's long-range.
right, coward? I will find you! So as you may have guessed it, the stock minigun did its best work from close range. However, the Tomislav continued to do better the farther away you got. And although this didn't really come as too much of a shock, I still wanted to investigate this just a little bit further. Just how dominant really was the stock minigun's close range DPS, and how close could the Tomislav get without losing? Well, to my surprise, it turns out that sometimes the stock minigun would actually lose out to the Tomislav standing only two steps away. Now, in my personal opinion, this really weakened the stock's close range power in my eyes, because two steps difference is hardly anything. But I will say, two steps wasn't always guaranteed for the Tomislav, so I'd still say the stock holds the majority of close range advantage while revved. But so anyways, it's now time to lay out the final data. As we saw, the stock minigun received its best advantage while fully revved against enemies shorter than three steps distance. However, the Tomislav took the advantage from everywhere else. Short range, mid range, and long range. So now, with every section covered and the final data in, it's time to make a decision. Which primary minigun do I personally find to be the best? Nah, it's still the Tomislav. Don't get me wrong, the stock minigun to me has always been a fairly reliable gun. And I get it, it really is a powerful, great weapon. But the short distance it takes before the perks wear off, plus all the other benefits of the Tomislav, just seem to outweigh those small benefits to me. So in conclusion, I once again choose the Tomislav. Hopefully this time I've made my case a little bit better, but let me know in the comments below what you guys thought, whether you agree or disagree. And either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So until next time, this was... Oh, yeah wait, and one more thing. T-shirts, socks, posters, coffee mugs? I wanna dip my balls in it! <laughs> Big Joey merch, only on teespring.com. Let's <laughs> go.